Hey everybody, welcome back to the Engineered Angler. Uh, I'm doing just a quick update video. Uh, this is just going to be a couple minutes long, but I just wanted to show you that I'm rebuilding the uh, thread fin that got destroyed <laughs> by the alligator. And I'm prepping to do a, a video on retrofitting tails onto your existing lures. I kind of stumbled on a really cool little technique getting a nice uh, flared tail just from one of these little paint brushes. And I'll show you that in that coming video. I had actually promised that I would do a video on the tool that I use to do these wire uh, snells. And uh, these snells is the technique that I use uh, to make my spinner baits. Uh, it's just really the simplest, quickest way that I know to make a spinner bait with almost nothing special and it's a really simple little tool and i designed it probably i don't know i think i designed it maybe six or eight months ago and it's made from a small a forcep or whatever these things are called uh, i think they're called forceps anyway it's basically been cut and reshaped so that it will actually make that twist around the shank of the hook I will do a video on how actually I, I made that shape and you guys maybe just by looking at it can uh, can copy it. I also wanted to uh, kind of step outside and uh, show you where I am on the retrofit of my, of my aluminum little boat, uh, which I'm turning into a bass boat. Uh, let's go take a look. So uh, what I've accomplished is to get a bunch of garbage and leaves in it. And I haven't done squat, to be honest with you. I left it uh, where you saw it on the last video, which is just with one bulkhead in it. I've got this rim framing uh, in the place, both in front and in the back, which I don't think I showed in the last video. And I've got the transom wood replaced. I had someone point out that this wood is not marine grade, and it is, and I, I really, I just misspoke. Uh, it, it's pressure treated, but it's also pressure treated uh, with, with a product that is a little less aggressive um, uh, copper salts that these things are treated with. And so it's really designed to be able to be used uh, near the coast and like for roofers. Um, and it's kind of aluminum friendly, it's supposed to be. So hopefully it won't rust out the back of the boat. So I still have the majority of that laminated uh, board that I made from styrofoam and a plastic laminate that's glued together. I'm a little concerned that the glue might not last. But... So it's kind of a good thing that I'm letting it sit out there in the heat and in the rain and everything just to see what it ends up doing. If it doesn't work out, I might have to rethink, pull it apart, and come up with a new design. I also wanted to update you on the completion of these these scorpion frogs uh, they've all been completed and they're ready to ship out I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get them to you but uh, this working from home business is a little more uh, disturbing to my normal processes than I thought it would be uh, but you'll be getting these and I'm also going to send them with a spare hook uh, just in case you end up running into a problem with either breaking a hook or having one get so dull you can't use it. Yeah, I hope this video is not too shaky. I'm hand-holding my own uh, cell phone on this thing. So look for a video coming out right midweek. And that'll be on the uh, retrofitting the tails. And hopefully it'll be useful to you. It's really a neat trick and I think uh, you'll dig it. So until then, uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay inside if you can and just wear a mask, wear gloves, wash your hands, don't touch your face. Be a good citizen and stay healthy. See you next time.